What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason with JCS Reefing and today we're going to show you how to make a uh, DIY skimmer neck cleaner. Um, now there's a bunch of these obviously on the market that use motors, stepper motors um, that are pretty much, you know, uh, automatic. It'll automatically clean the neck of your skimmer, which is pretty sweet, but I just didn't feel like spending that money right now. So I actually made this thing from some stuff laying around the house, but I imagine you could probably make this whole thing, um, minus the skimmer cost obviously, but you could probably make this whole thing for about five bucks. So, you know, real quick, this just kind of goes on your skimmer and you basically will just spin it like that and it'll clean that neck. So I'm gonna kind of do a quick run through of how I made it. Um, it's real, real simple, pretty, pretty basic stuff. So stay tuned and if you are uh, not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell and let's get to it. All right, so let's just run through some of the things you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need a squeegee. Um, I actually had one of these laying around my house, but I imagine you could probably scoop one of these up from the dollar store for a dollar. And um, I actually did use a torch here just to heat up the plastic a little bit to make it a little easier to cut. And then you're gonna need some Gorilla Glue, and the only thing that I left out was some super glue and a razor blade, obviously. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend cutting this on your granite countertops if you have granite. I probably should have brought this out in the garage and did that as my wife pointed that out while I'm sitting here doing it. Um, so kind of do as I say, not as I do. Um, definitely find something to put it on um, to not cut it in. Luckily, nothing happened, but kind of just throwing that out there. Now try to get one that definitely is um, a little bit bigger than your skimmer cup. Um, simply because you want it to clean from the top to the bottom down or as close as possible. So you're gonna to wanna to take it over to your skimmer neck and kinda of, you know, get a rough estimate on where it needs to go on the lid. This was kinda of the biggest tricky thing to do. So I recommend using super glue to kinda of temporarily put it in place. So if you need to move it front or back, um, because you want slight pressure on that neck so when you spin it, obviously it'll actually squeegee off um, all the fish crap and stuff. So once you get that spot, um, I use two part, um, you know, basically two part clear epoxy. Um, and you definitely want to let this cure. I let it cure for two days. So 24 to 48 hours. So it is fully cured. So you don't have any issues with your tank or your skimmer going nuts or anything like that. Um, once you mix up the two part epoxy, it's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Just go around um, the swabby part and kind of just, you know, epoxy it on there. Now, if you want to take it an extra step further, um, you can put, you know, some type of acrylic or plastic or something over it. But for me, this is going to work just fine. Once that's dried, like I said, you want to put a little, you want to have a little bit of pressure um, on the, the neck itself. So as you can see, once you start spinning it with your hands, it'll basically just squeegee all that fish crap off of there. And, um, let it go back down and foam back up. So that's pretty much all there is to it, man. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I actually did see this somewhere on the internet a long time ago, and I cannot for the life of me remember where it is. So if this is something you came up with, go ahead and drop that. Um, I just figured I would do a quick video on how I did it. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think and happy reefing. Cheers.